Good afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for St. John and Maxville, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and SandyLandCenter.org, our website. Today is Monday, the 13th of February. And I guess uh, Mondays maybe aren't unlucky like Fridays are, so it's good to get the 13th out of the way on a Monday. And uh, we're going to have uh, morning snow today. Uh, with uh, 39 for the high temperature, the temperature at noon is 36, and we have a 30% chance of rain. Of course, uh, that was mostly this morning. Then uh, we get to uh, a better day, which is Tuesday, which will be the warmest day of the week. It'll be sunny and 51 for a high temperature. <coughs> and then. Uh, uh, it gets cooler, but maybe we'll have some moisture. Wednesday showers and 43, uh, the high temperature, with a 50% chance of some rain. Then a more normal Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, partly cloudy, on Thursday with a high of 42, Friday sunny high with 46, and Saturday sunny with 47. We have uh, several uh, birthdays and an anniversary. Uh, happy birthday today uh, to Melinda Davis. Uh, happy birthday to Christy Snyder today. And tomorrow, happy anniversary to Virgil and Joan Young. We hope that you all have uh, a good chance to celebrate uh, your uh, birthdays and anniversaries. And it's exciting for the anniversary folks to be having their anniversary on Valentine's Day. And I, I guess they must have planned it that way. Uh, anyway, <coughs> looking at uh, the things that are happening at the school, uh, today, well, it is the 13th, and progress reports are going out, so that may be why uh, they're having those. Then on uh, Tuesday, elementary Valentine parties, and Later that day, uh, 2.30 for the parties, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, high school basketball at home against Word of Life. Then uh, uh, there are an organization I don't know of, uh, anyway it's District G of FCCLA, whatever that is, and they're having elections uh, Wednesday. <coughs> then of course the uh, uh, there's a piano festival on uh, Saturday, and uh, a junior high music festival on Friday, and uh, we'll be playing basketball with the high school team against Maxville at 4 o'clock Friday afternoon or evening. Uh, then we go on to the menus, and uh, the, uh, let's see, that, I believe, that's the high school or just the schools in general, USD 350, they'll be having Little Smokies macaroni and cheese today, chicken nuggets, potatoes, and gravy Tuesday, and chili and uh, sliced pears on, uh, on uh, Wednesday. And then we have the, our friends in, uh, in Maxville at the VIP Center, uh, they're having uh, chicken strips. And, uh, and I like their menu for Tuesday, smothered steak and baked potato, and then ham and beans on Wednesday. And you can't do better than that, I think. So congratulations over there to you seniors uh, who are going to enjoy those lunches. Now, the city still has uh, at least two things that are still open as jobs, as far as I can tell. And that's the parks and maintenance worker and a person who can run backhoes, graders, and loaders, and also an experienced lineman and someone who can train at the power plant. And I believe those are still open. I'm not sure if they have uh, selected the, uh, the bid for the person who wants to mow lawns for the city. I don't think they have, but uh, I, it escaped me if they did. Uh, then we have some uh, recreation uh, uh, events for the Recreation Commission and uh, tomorrow being Valentine's Day at 2 o'clock in the afternoon they're having a, a Valentine tea 
and they're going to be playing uh, Valentine Bingo, whatever that is. And uh, so they have cookies and tea will be served. And then on Monday, the 20th, which is President's Day, they'll be shopping at Pratt, Kansas, and uh, it's a discount day also at Alco. <coughs> and who knows wherever. They'll leave at 1.15 and they're coming back, uh, they don't say. After supper they're coming back and they're having supper at Woody's uh, at their own expense. <coughs> the other item <coughs> is uh, an interesting one and there's a uh, beginning bird, bird watching workshop uh, going to be held in St. John and that'll be Thursday the 23rd at the library in St. John and it's free and you need to be eight or older and uh, we're in one of the best areas in the world to do bird watching and it's really an interesting thing uh, and I wish that I had been near a place like this when when I was in Scouts and had to go crazy to find 40 different birds so I even go down to Corvera and probably see 70 or 80 in an hour anyway uh, that would be a great thing to be into if you have some spare time and a set of binoculars. Uh, you might like to do a lot of bird watching at Quivira. Uh And it's right nearby. You can call the library to register. Or you can call Quivira. I think for most of us the library would be easier to get. And that's all the news and announcements I have for you at uh, this time. Uh, and I'm sure that we'll have the county commissioners after the news today. And I'm not sure. Is the city council going to meet again? No, that was last week. We, they are meeting uh, Monday night. They're going to meet They're going to have night. a special meeting Monday night for the water. Tonight? Yes, sir. They're having a special meeting about water. All right. Uh, so there you have all the news and announcements. The word of the day is this. Uh, there's uh, one kind of person who's worse than a quitter, and that's somebody who doesn't summon up the courage to even try in the first place. This is Jim Lakey, hoping you have a really great uh, week this week, and that you survive whatever snow and rain that we get.